I'd just like to say thanks to Let's Play Footy for uploading this video. What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to a little bit of a hybrid squad build I've got for you today. This is specifically designed for the Nations Cup or something like that. The Nations United Cup where you need four nations in a team. Um, I actually didn't make this team for the Cup but then it came out after I finished making it so I decided to play with it. I actually played four games with this team and I lost in the final 4-3. Um, so it's quite a strong team even though it doesn't look like it's going to be good but it really is like a really good team. But what we're going to do is go into each player and I'll talk a bit about how they played and if they were any good. So for first of all, we're going to start off with Victor Valdes in goal. Picked him up for a thousand coins and he made some really nice saves. He's got some absolutely, like, stats-wise, he's really good for an 83 rate keeper. He's got 82 diving, 78 handling, 77 kicking, 83 reflexes and 90 positioning. Um... And a very solid keeper for 1,000 coins. And if you don't want to go for Cassius, he's definitely a really good replacement. And of course, we are now going to go into the wing backs. We have Lel and we also have Jordi Alba. Now, we'll start with Jordi Alba, a really solid player. He's got 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, 4,200 coins. And he is a solid, solid player. 92 pace, 68 shot, 76 passing, 82 dribbling. 79 defending and 68 heading. I picked him up with that Sentinel card on, which will get him up his defending and heading stats. And he is a really good left back. One of the best in the game, in my opinion. And the left back is this Christian Lell, who I picked up for 1,500 coins in the Bundesliga. And he was really good as well. Uh, one goal in the four games for a right back isn't bad. High attacking, medium defensive work rates. Six foot tall. He has 83 pace, 56 shots, 69 dribbling. 69 passing, even 67 dribbling and 73 defending. A really, really good player. I suggest you go and try him out if you're going to build like a silver BBVA or just like a German team. He's quite a good right back in that position. Centre backs. First of all, we're going to go with Murillo and then we're going to go with Mascherano. Okay, Murillo is a solid player. I keep saying solid once again, but. He's 82 heading and 72 defending his strongest stats. He's also got 67 pace, which isn't too bad for a 73 rated silver. Um, 500 coins just kind of got him for the hybrid, only chemistry reasons, but he played quite well. Um, not the fastest defense, but he managed to do like quite well against defenders. Mascherano here, two goals in four games for a centre back, not bad. 70 heading, 85 defending, 68 passing, 68 pace, 74 passing, 60 shooting, and 66 dribbling. Uh, medium attacking high defensive workout, really good player. Always liked him, thought he was a decent player at Liverpool as well. Uh, and only a thousand coins, so a very cheap defence um, line and a very solid one as well. So, into the defensive midfield, it's on the left hand side, we've got Cambiasso. On the right hand side, we have Diop. And Diop has a bit of a cracker on him um, on the odd occasion, not all the time with his 6 2 shot, but. Sometimes if you get him in the right position at the right time, he can smack it into the top corner. Which I believe is what he did for his one and only goal in the four games. He also picked him an assist. 350 coins, you're going to get 68 by 62 shooting, 70 passing, 67 dribbling, 78 defending, and 77 heading. So good defensive stats and pretty decent all um, other stats. Cambiasso is an absolute beast. Um, really good player in real life as well. Getting quite old now. He's 33. 62 pace, 71 shooting, 77 passing, 72 dribbling, 78 defending and 75 headings. Got four star weak and two star skill moves. One goal and that goal was an absolute strike. Topping right to the top corner and a very good player. Central midfield, we have Guarin, who didn't actually, but oh my god, he did. One goal in the four games with five assists as well. And he got his 1,200 coins, high attacking, medium defensive work rates. He has 78 pace, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 83 dribbling, 76 defending and 78 heading. I believe, was it right that he was one of the highest overall stats if you added them all together um, in the game, which was quite a good stat and he played really, really well. Um, wasn't the, well, he wasn't the best, but he wasn't the worst. I kind of enjoyed using him, but I probably would prefer him to be in a more defensive position than an attacking midfielder, even though he's playing centre mid, but he kind of was the attacking midfielder in this formation. Okay, so one to the wingers, left wing got Lavezzi, right wing we have Niang, so kind of like a budget versus an expensive. Most expensive player on the team, we've got Lavezzi for 27,000 coins, one goal in the four games and four assists. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves, high attack and medium defensive work rates. 
88 pace, 88 dribbling, 77 shooting and 74 passing. A very, very solid player. Well, well, well played as you can see. He hasn't, he doesn't score a lot for anybody at all. Uh, if you look at the last video I did, he had 44 games with him for 3 goals. Scored and left wing is an awful, awful record. But for me, he did quite well. Um, got that in that left wing quite a lot. But Niang also played well. He only didn't get any assists, which is a bad thing. But he did get one goal and four weeks, five weeks, four star skills, high, high work rates. 86 pace, 81 dribbling, 69 shooting, and 70 heading. Only 550 coins. I know I just wanted to try him since the start of the game, really, because he looked like a bit of a beast. And of course, to finish off the team, Palacio up. Wow, my mic just came out anyway. So, in the striker position, we have Palacio. Three star weak foot, three star skills, medium, medium work rates. Five goals in four games of one assist, 850 coins, 85 pace, 81 shooting, 84 dribbling, 77 passing, and 72 heading. A really solid striker. Overall, this team is going to cost you around 40,000 coins. It's quite solid, even though it doesn't look as good as it. Well, it doesn't look like it plays well, but it really does if you like this formation. So if you want to go and build it, remember to comment down below telling me what you thought of it. And anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, which I'm not quite sure where it will be, but might be something talking about, I don't know, some just talking about something. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.